Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can probably hear, I'm a little bit congested. I'm getting over a cold. Y'all know whenever I go out, I get sick. So um, yeah, I'm getting over a cold, but here I am. I know I am a day late and that's because, girl, I have literally been sick. I got my inhaler here because your girl can't breathe. Um, I'm going through a lot right now, okay? But we're going to do a video and I'm going to do a story time of my last event. Um, and how we got here but if you guys are not interested in story times or you can't deal with my heavy breathing then girl this is not the video for you by the way I do have on a shirt you just can't see it because it's hot here in Texas you know what I'm saying can't have everything covered up but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started so let's I'm taking some uh setting powder from Beauty Bakery and I'm gonna apply this to my um my brows just to kind of you know get them dried out a little bit so that way the pencil can glide on but let me just start this video out by saying listen if you are sick and you are aware that you're sick and you intentionally go around people you should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law because people like me who have been working from home like it's a blessing and a curse but i have the weakest fucking immune system ever so if you were sick and you got like still like little remnants in your system, girl, I will catch that. And my shit isn't going to be like a 24 hour cold or whatever. Like I said, I am the sickling. Okay. Like I catch it and I be down for the count. So again, I feel like you should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law because it's just so careless and reckless that you would endanger me that way. You know what I'm saying? Like a cold that could have possibly been like a day or two for you may become like a week or two for me like it's just I don't appreciate it I don't freaking appreciate it and they think that it's funny because the person that I got sick from it's probably like three of them three of them were sick and I was like are you sick and they're like ha 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 like um yeah but I'm getting over it and I'm like no seriously are you sick because I know my immune system like I can't girl Oh, I'm getting over it. Like, I'm good. No, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. And you, you're fucking sick. And now it took me out. Like I said, I got my damn inhaler here because I can't fucking breathe. Like, I'm sorry. I was just, I'm just upset at that. Okay. Anyway, that was like a little NK pencil that I used from the beauty supply store. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced. I'm now in the shade Chai to clean up my brows. Um, But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the story time what you guys are here for anyway i went out with my friend you know the one that we kind of had not like a falling out but just a disagreement and i had reached out to her and just was like hey you know because i know how we both can be we both will take it to the extreme because we have like that same type of personality where it's like okay well, fuck it i'm not reaching out to you if you don't reach out to me and this could have really went further than what it should have been right so i was like you know what because for me y'all know i do out of sight out of mind so i would completely forget about it so i was like before it gets to the point where it's just like awkward for me to even reach out or for her to reach out let me just go ahead and just try to fix the situation anyway because i value our friendship right and that's what i'll be trying to explain to y'all that Friendships are not cookie cutter, right? The way that I am as a friend to this person is not going to be the same way that I am to you um, as a friend. Now, it should be kind of universal, but again, all your friendships, all the emotions there, they're not always going to be the same. So we wind up getting together and um, just kind of like bearing it all and having a conversation. I let her know what she did to offend me, you know, and we kind of talked through that. She was very receptive to it. Like, I didn't know that I was doing that to you and for that I apologize right and so this is why I tell y'all and y'all were jumping down my throat like oh well she's not your friend and you need to block her and da 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 some people don't know what they don't know right and so sometimes it's okay to give people a little bit of grace I understand that now everybody is wired that way and that you do have to be a little bit um, protective of your heart and your feelings and stuff I totally get it but if this is a person that you call your friend um, and you have not had the conversation to let them know what they're doing to offend you, they don't know, right? Now, if you've had this, this conversation several times, i.e. my ex-guy best friend, 
and it continues to happen, then by all means, you cut that person off. But I do understand that friendships are not all the same. The way that I am a friend to somebody is not the way that they were raised to be a friend or that what they consider to be a friend, which is why I didn't feel the need to cut her off right away or be like, you know what, fuck it, I'm done with you because you hurt my feelings. Like I understood that you don't know that you're offending somebody until they tell you. If your parents or your grandparents raised you to stay in a relationship or, you know, stick it out with a bum because that's what they did and that's all you know. When somebody comes around, they like, no, I'm not going to stick it out with a bum. You look at them crazy because that's not normal. You know, not saying this is the situation, but I'm just saying, using that as an example. It's not normal to you, right? So you're going to be like, well, no, stick it out with that bum because that's the way that you were raised. So... Again, I did not fault her. I knew that I was offended and I need some time to, you know, process it. But I knew that we were going to come back to this to a good place. So I didn't feel the need to let go of the friendship over something that could have been fixed. Right. And, you know, it could also be that I don't call a lot of people my friends. Right. So the people that I do call my friends, I value the, those relationships. And so I'm not willing to just easily let it go over one argument and that's why i be trying to get through to y'all like i understand that people may have hurt you in your past but you can't allow that hurt to stop you from building healthy relationships um going forward right because if anything that's not hurting the person that hurt you it's hurting yourself like you're keeping yourself from a lot of blessings you're blocking them so just making sure that um you have those conversations but like i said we talked about it um, she was very receptive to the way that I felt. She apologized. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't know that I was doing that to you. What can I do? How would you like me to respond? And I feel like that's a real ass adult conversation. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't think that I was going to be able to do it, but I had to put my bigger opinions on because y'all know I hate, I hate conversation, but we were able to discuss it. You know, we got pretty emotional and you know, we got past it and we got through it and, and we back like nothing happened. That to me is a real friendship that that's what I call friends you know if I'm if I am able to easily let you go with no regard to it then you probably didn't mean shit to me so I'm gonna call you a friend that's something I would call like an associate or something okay I'm gonna be using the Jacqueline Hill palette because girl I want to be able to get in and get out today girl I am not feeling good I'm hoping to push through this video and make it work but I'm gonna start out with my brows y'all know I love my brows okay so we're gonna start out with those um anyway as we're having dinner she tells me um, this guy that she's been, you know, talking to wants to come up here to this dinner, right? And I'm like, what? So she's like, yeah, and he has a couple friends. He said he's going to bring some friends. Like, so this is the type of sneaky shit I've been talking about. Like, it's always an adventure with her because you knew I wouldn't have agreed to that shit had I known about this prior, right? So you had to sneak it on me or whatever. So I'm like, I'm not just going to leave you here with a bunch of guys. Like, I'm not that type of friend. So that's fine. So he gets there. And she kept saying, like, he's not the most attractive or whatever. He's not the most attractive. And I'm like, you know, girl, if he's not the most attractive, if that's what you like, baby, that's what you like. I am not here to judge you or whatever. And then it made me wonder, if he's not the most attractive, then she's probably trying to hint that his friends are not the most attractive, right? And I was like, I'm not looking to be set up, but girl, I'll ride this wave with you because I know you need me to, but I have no intention on this going any further than what it's already gone. So they walk through the door and I mean, we're like a nice restaurant. It wasn't... It wasn't super upscale. We went to Spatch in Addison. It wasn't super upscale, but it's like, you know, when you on a night on the town, you kind of want to dress accordingly. The guy she was talking to walks in with sweatpants on. And his friend walks in with basketball shorts. Okay, nobody, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, he was just very big. But you know, like some big guys, like you can be big and dress really well because it has to kind of like balance out your bigness. Um, you come in here with sweatpants on, just looking very, 
not even sweatpants, I'm sorry, basketball shorts and a t-shirt, like just looking very sloppy. I was just like, oh, hell no. But he's grinning ear to ear. He's, you know, pulling up the chair next to me. And the whole time I'm looking at my friend like, girl, I ought to beat your ass. Like, because this is so unacceptable that, that you would have, you would have me sit here and talk to him. Like, I would have rather you told me to go home and y'all did what y'all did. But for you to know what the friend looked like, because she had a picture. She didn't want to show me the picture because she knew I would have walked the fuck up out of there. But for you to know what that man looked like and still have me sitting here, are we really friends at this point? Because, ill. So I'm like, it's been a while since I had to really take one for the team. So I'll go ahead and take one for the team, right? So I'm interacting with him. I'm talking to him while she's doing whatever she do. You know, they getting closer, da, da, da. But I, in my mind, I'm like, I really hope that this night ends. Anyway, a second guy shows up. So he's invited another dude, right? And I have to entertain both of their asses. Both of them thinking that they have a shot with me. When one of them, oh my gosh, let me tell you how broke behavior this shit was. So we're buying drinks. Me and my friend are buying drinks, right? And the dude she's talking to buys around for the table. These dudes, when the check comes, the dudes don't even try to go in their pocket. Like, they just knew their friend was going to cover it, right? But that's not even the end. Like, I'm not even, I haven't even, girl. Anyway, instead of them buying more drinks at the bar, these fools are going out to the car and taking hot shots, okay? Like, shots that have been sitting in the car for a while. Instead of them buying them at the bar, so I was like, ooh, that's giving very much dusty behavior. I'm not even joking. If I'm lying, I'm flying, girl, and I think I'm still seated. They are going out to the car to take shots and get drunk and come back inside. Uh, this has to be the fucking ghetto. It has to be the fucking ghetto. So, the one guy, the big guy that's talking to me, you know, he's like, what do you do for fun? Da, 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 da. So I'm telling him. And then he goes into, yeah, I was fasting for like two weeks straight or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I'm in a fasting. Like, I do the intermittent fasting. Like, what type of fasting are you doing? He's like, oh, I didn't eat absolutely nothing outside of fruits and vegetables. So then I start wondering, like, damn, nigga, was you bigger than this? Like, when I say he had like the auntie arms, like, bitch, I'm not no, no slim chicken myself right i gotta tell y'all about the doctor's appointment anyway but i'm not like a, a slim chicken myself so if i think you a little on the thick side nigga like you're you're pretty thick or whatever right so he's like yeah um i was fasting and i do meditation and all this other stuff i knew that this man was going to be a problem i knew he was going to be a problem when this man told me yeah, because I got married after knowing somebody for like nine months. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, he's like, are you looking for a relationship? And I was like, nah. He's like, you single? I was like, I got like a little situation more. Trying to hint like, sir, leave me alone. Leave me alone, right? So then he's like, uh, I'm telling you, the, the wheel snapped in my mind. I said, oh, yeah, he's going to be a problem for sure. When he said... My last relationship is going to be the last relationship I'm ever in. Sir, if that woman don't want to be with you, what, what happens then? Like, if y'all talking and she decides that she don't want to be with you, you're going to force her to be with you? But I was like, nah, that nigga trying to hit. Like, he's he's ready to be in a relationship. Why men nowadays want to be in a relationship with me is, is beyond me, right? Because I remember, like I told y'all a couple years ago, when a bitch wanted a relationship, niggas didn't want one. Now, all of a sudden, y'all all want relationships. It's so confusing to me. Like, no, I'm out here trying to be in these streets. I don't want to be in a relationship. So, you know, I'm cracking jokes at the table. Like, you know, I'm toxic or whatever. I don't think that I could ever, you know, be in a committed relationship. Hint, hint, bitch, leave me alone. Girl, he is not taking the hints at all. He's like, you know, it's just because you haven't found the right one and you just need the right one in your life and all this extra shit. Girl, if I could have gotten up and ran from that table, I would have gotten up and ran from that fucking table because between him and the other one, it was definitely giving broke boy, I am going to love bomb you situation. So... We continue to sit there and 
I am trying not to like heavily drink because y'all know I am fasted and I haven't drank in like a couple months ever since I've been fasting I haven't drank so it's like I'm not trying to heavily drink you know and kind of make my progress go backwards or whatever so I'm letting my friend get it out you know until she's ready to go like girl you just give me the bat signal when you're ready to leave we'll fucking go so my friend is like well I want to go to one more spot before we leave so I'm like, okay, well, I mean, we can't really go to too many spots because these niggas is just like hobos. So where are we going to get into? So we wind up going to a uh, sidecar social and we literally got there at probably like 1230 and they close at two. So we didn't have time to really do anything. So we're sitting down um, and I'm like, I'm probably going to give me another drink just to kind of relax or whatever. These Negroes sit down. Like, oh, yeah, we want another drink, too. Is anybody going to go to the bar? Girl, no. They did not go to the bar. My friend felt bad and decided that she wanted to purchase drinks for them. Why? Why are we purchasing drinks for grown-ass men? Now, this is something for you that be like, I don't need no nigga to take care of me. Da-da-da, nigga, he don't need to be buying me nothing. But you're buying these grown-ass, capable men who claim they got money drinks. But okay, girl. It's your night. It's your night. I'm going to rock with you or whatever. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I kind of want to try this yellow. I think the yellow is probably going to crack, but we're going to see. This is Juvia's Place, the Nubian Glow Palette. So let's try the yellow and see what happens. Um, I probably shouldn't even be doing like a matte. I should probably do a, a glitter I should, but whatever. Um, anyway, so she decides that she wants to buy them drinks because she don't want to be rude. Yet these niggas didn't even get up. They didn't even bat a damn eye to go to the bar to get us fucking drinks. So, like, you don't want a nigga to take care of you. I don't take care of grown-ass niggas, but whatever. So, she buys all of them drinks. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do my friend like that. I'll go, to, I'll go ahead and split it down the middle with you. So I split it down the middle. We come back to the table. These niggas is like, oh, thank you. The niggas didn't say how much we owe you next round on me. This is why I feel like in 2023, dating, I feel like a dude out here in these streets. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, I feel like a man out here in these streets. Like, I really feel like I be out here courting niggas. Like, they want to be taken care of and have no problem Raising they kicking their feet up in the air and being taken care of like a bitch. Sorry, I mean, but that's just that's just my take on. It. Again, I'm waiting on these niggas to be like, hey, let me zill you. Now her dude was like, hey, how much is it? I'll zill you, and I was like, maybe these niggas got like a pact or something that you know they each got a weekend to pay for shit. Like this weekend, I'll pay for drinks all weekend or next weekend. I pay for drinks all weekend, but as a grown ass man, like if I was a dude, I wouldn't be letting no, no, first of all, no female take care of me. And number two, I wouldn't be letting my homeboy buy me drinks like that shit is just, the niggas didn't reach for their wallets not one time. Like this is very bitch behavior. Like I, I can't be in the vicinity of men like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was already like, girl. I have no interest in these men at all, right? Like, it will never be a time in the history of life that these men could ever talk to me. Like, because that is just, nigga, what? Not not even say, like, oh, the next round on me with y'all. Like, none of that. Like, just very content with letting a woman take care of you. I don't know. It's just fucking weird. It's just weird. In the back of my mind, I'm like, girl, I'm going to have to have a conversation with my friend because what the fuck is this? What? Why are you accepting this? But whatever, right? Again, her her dude was, he was like, at least let me slide you something out there or whatever. Da, da, da. Anyway, the night continues. Like, all right, it's, it's 2 in the morning now. Like, girl, I'm ready to go. But I understood that she was not ready to go. She needed time with me, right? Now, she had took me from Spatch to sidecar in her car. Now, I was going to drive my own car. I knew I should have drove my own car because the chemistry between these two, it was heating up. It was heating up. So, I knew I should have drove my own shit, but I was like, 
you know, she really wants me to ride with her. So I'm going to go ahead and ride with her or whatever. She'll just take me back to my car. Well, when we leave sidecar, you know, they decide that they want to go do their own thing. I'm not mad at you. I'm not a cock blocker. Girl, go do what it is that you do. I want to add just like a little bit of orange on top of like this brown right here. This brown and yellow. It's probably a bad idea, but we're going to go in here and do it anyway. Um. Anyway, so like I said, they want to do what they was going to do. So I was like, all right, bet I'll just have one of the guys take me home or whatever. I'm not home, but back to my car, which is like a five minute drive. So I was like, okay, cool. So the big dude was like, oh, I'll take you. I'll take you. You know, I'll let the top down because he's trying to boast that he has this car. But sir, I've already clocked it. You're, you're broke because you may have an expensive car. But that's where all your fucking money is going. Okay, I hate men like that. I hate women like that. You go out here and you buy the most expensive car just to show that you got money and in reality you are broke. Okay, I don't give a damn about this fucking car. Okay, I, I don't. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of my NARS primer, girl. It ain't no rhyme or reason today. I'm just using whatever I got near me, okay? But anyway, he gets to hiking it back to his car, and I'm going with it, and I'm like, nigga, walking fast as fuck. So I say bye to my friend, you know, and we reach his car. This nigga clearing out candy wrappers and shit off the passenger seat. I'm like, oh, yeah. Talking about he was fasting for two weeks. Girl, no, you was not. No, you was not fasting, but whatever, whatever. So, uh, we get in the car and he's like, yeah, you know, because I would really like to hang out with you and I would love to cook for you and all this other stuff. And, you know, my mom is from uh, East Texas and just telling me the whole spiel. That's why I'm like, this nigga really fell in love with me, which is very weird because I wasn't given, like, my best feminine energy. Like, I was really giving homeboy energy, hoping that... You never wanted to speak to me again, but that really was not the case. I really need to stop doing that because for whatever reason, the homeboy energy really locks them in every single time. Maybe I need to start trying the damsel in distress. I'm not really sure, but this this dynamic, like whatever makes them fall in love with me, I need that to end. I need it to end immediately, okay? All right, I'm using some of my NARS foundation. Um, Y'all know I don't know the color. I don't know how to say it, so I'm going to just put it in the description, okay? Um, but anyway... So he's giving me the run out and I'm like, Jesus, like I can't get to my car fast enough, right? Like I really need this trip to hurry up so I can get back to my car. So he's like, well, do you mind if I get your number? And I'm like, you know what? I would normally say no, but I was like, no, because it's dark. Like I, it ain't nobody out here. I really don't want no bullshit in case I reject him and then he flips out. Like, it really ain't nobody here to protect me. So, I gave him my number and he's like, okay, I got it locked in or whatever. Now, I played along. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I didn't play along. and be like, oh, yeah, we should totally hang out. Yeah, we should get together. Oh, yeah, all this other stuff. Because I did. But you know how you tell somebody, hey, call me if you ever need anything. Reach out to me. We're totally going to hang out tomorrow. And it never fucking happens because you didn't really mean that shit. Girl, he was not picking up on the signs. Like, he really thought we were going to hang out. Like, no, no, love. No, I, I didn't. Anyway, uh, Sunday passes, because this was Saturday. So, Sunday passes, and I was, like, really hoping because I hadn't heard from him. I was like, okay, so maybe he did get the heck. Girl, I'll never talk to him again. He and my friend were talking, and I was like, that is just, don't ever, <laughs> ever in your life have me around me like that again. Because... That was extremely broke men behavior. I never want to be around men like that ever again. All right, I'm using a little bit of my Too Faced again, my concealer. Um, anyway, he hits me up and says, how you doing, sunshine? And I said, oh my gosh, like this this boy really think it's going to be something between us. Like, it, oh. And I felt bad because I'm like, I know my friend, like, his homeboy and what I don't want to happen. Yeah, looking out for my fucking friends. I need to stop doing that shit. Anyway, um, I was like, I don't want it to happen where she be around him or we be in the same vicinity again. Because my friend don't like doing shit by herself. So, I don't want it to be us in the same vicinity again. And it'd be awkward. Like, oh, you never hit me back. Because these seem to be his only friends. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to just hit him back on the what's up. Again, give my homeboy. So he's like, well, I was just trying to see how your day was. Girl, I never fucking responded because I'm like, I can't, I can't do this with you. Like, not even on a friendship level. 
just something about you gives me broken dusty and I'm I'm trying to flex for the world and I don't want no parts. You know what I'm saying? Like I would rather a man be driving a broke down Chevy Malibu or a Honda Accord with some money in his pocket, you know what I'm saying, to buy drinks and not have to walk his ass outside to take shots versus a man driving a brand new vehicle off the lot and don't have no damn money because all your money is going to this facade or all your money is going to this fucking car. Like, please, it's nothing that you can do with me, sir. Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. So I didn't respond. And I let my friend know, like, girl, listen, I can't, I can't be around him anymore. Like, he's, he's taking this a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm not really sure why he thinks it would be him, but it would never be him. So my friend was like, all right, that's fine, whatever. So then the man hits me up again, like a couple days later. And then when I didn't reply, he tried to unsend it. Okay, so you're, you're thirsty and you want me, but you're trying to act like you don't. Like, this is, sir. This is too much for me, okay? So to my friend, I'm like, look, boo, I'm going to have to block him because he just, he's, he's not seeming to get the hint that it will never be him under any circumstances. So, unfortunately, I probably am not going to be able to hang out with you and your little boo thing no more because, baby, if he tries to bring any of them friends, any of the two friends that he brought, absolutely not. I'm talking about it's one more. It, all y'all fucking broke. Every last one of y'all is fucking broke and dusty. Absolutely not. Absolutely fucking. Then it was like everything he was saying made absolutely no sense. He was like, yeah, because I got a job that pays me well and I don't need to want for nothing or whatever. But then I picked up a second job because I just like extra money. Then why are you taking your ass out to the car and taking shots? If you're working two jobs that pay you well and you just need extra money and you just like money so much, why are you taking your ass out? to take shots when shots inside of here are five dollars why who who are you trying to convince me or you okay milk sent me these uh setting powders to grow milk they're looking out for me and i'm here for it i'm gonna try them today that's what i'm gonna do hold on i'm gonna open up the box so y'all can see oh so it's like four different setting powders right um for four different shades bam bam Bam. And I even came with like a little brush. It took everything in me not to open this up, y'all. I wanted to do it on camera so we could review it together. Um, I think my shade is probably going to be, which one is this one? Uh, probably the Translucent Deep, which is, um, that's the one I'm going to try. Which I think it is this girl right here. That girl. I think that's more me because I think this one may be too deep and that one may be too light. But we're going to try it and see. Okay, so this is the satin powder, right? I shook it up and did what I did. And this is a little brush they tell you to use. So I'm going to use a little brush here and we're going to see what happens. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, dear. All right, man. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what's together. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Got to put some on it. Okay. Hey. I can get used to that. Okay, that's cute, right? Am I tripping? I think that's cute. Okay. Kind of give me like translucent vibes a little bit. I like that. Um, let me make sure this eye over here. I think there are no cracks in it. But yeah, girl, that's what happened. That's why my, my chronicles of me having to take one for the team. I did go to the doctor, my little OPGYN girl, and I'm telling you all, like, I'm not sure what the fuck is going on, but I feel like, because I just watched a documentary about uh, Big Pharma and shit like that, like, I really feel like these doctors is getting a, a cut for putting folks on Ozempic and all these little diet plans and shit like that, because I went to go visit my doctor, and I promise you, I promise you, that man made me feel like I was 600 pounds. Like, yes, I am I am overweight for the quote-unquote standards for, you know, my height or whatever. But do I feel like um, I'm, like, obese? Obese? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But this man told me I was obese, girl, and then had the nerve to call in Ozempic to my local pharmacy. Like, who the fuck told you I was about to take Ozempic? Who told you that? I didn't tell you. I didn't agree to fucking taking those epics. So why the fuck did you call it in there? Y'all, it has been a hell of a fucking week for me. 
I am not mad at that milk. Like, that actually is really good. I'm about to bake with it before I go in and, you know, contour and do all my extra stuff. Um, but, yeah, my doctor, and I have been going to him. Like, he actually delivered my kids. But it, he's like one of those old school doctors that believe in like old medicine and i hate to say this but i also feel like a lot of times they feel like black women or black people in general just they pain tolerance and stuff is completely different y'all know y'all have seen like those studies and stuff like that i kind of feel like that's the situation here too because uh with my birth control quote unquote you're not supposed to have a period but like i still do have like a full period monthly right and i can tell you right when my period's about to come because i get like the my breasts be sore and you know like I'm bloated or whatever he swears up and down I don't have an actual period like sir I think I know my body like I I know he's like well I have other patients I'm giving a shit about other patients I'm telling you what my body is doing but anyway that's what we got into it about and that's when I was like yeah I'm about to have to change my doctor because I feel like it's my birth control that I'm on oh, excuse me I feel like it's the birth control that I'm on uh, that has been kind of you know making it hard for me to lose weight he's like well that's just impossible because if you're eating lower calories than you're you're consuming or something then you're burning then um the law of science said that you, you should be losing the weight like it's impossible i have another patient he loved to bring up other patients bitch i don't give a fuck about other patients their body is completely different than mine like i have my mother has a thyroid condition i may have a thyroid condition like there may be other things that are stopping me um from losing his weight but don't sit up here and tell me that i'm not eating within my calories like bitch trust me i i barely eat at this point i just went out to dinner with somebody the other night and i couldn't even eat like so don't tell me that it that i'm eating more than i'm burning because that's not the fucking case so we got into it about that and he just was like well i'm just gonna put you on ozempic like no i don't want to be put on ozempic and he's like well why Bitch, number one, because I said I don't want to. And then number two, like, I feel like that is a short-term resolution. Once you get off of Xempic, like, what, what then? You know what I'm saying? Like, if we haven't diagnosed the actual problem, what then? All right, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place. Um, but, yeah, like, it just, it thoroughly pissed me off because I'm like, are you going to waste your time sitting here fighting with a damn doctor that don't even listen to you? Or, you know, like, it, it just, find somebody else. And maybe you need to find somebody that's black, okay? I hate to say that, but, I mean, because it just, how the fuck you gonna tell me what the hell my body is doing, you know? And he's like, even with the period, he's like, well, I know you're just probably just spotting. No, bitch, I, I'm filling up full tampons. I'm filling up full packs. Like, it's, it's not just spotting. I know it's different between me spotting and, you know, me having a full-blown period i don't know y'all like when i told y'all the whole thing just fucking pissed me off to the point where i was like yeah it's time to find a new doctor at first i thought like maybe you know maybe i need to listen a little bit you know what i'm saying but when i am doing everything correctly like i know that i'm doing everything correctly eating within my calorie count you know and half the time i probably don't even eat within the calorie count because again i've experienced this thing where like i don't be hungry so I know that I'm doing everything right and I can see the results, but just on the scale, they're not there. You're not going to sit here and tell me that I'm doing shit wrong. Like we just, we're not going to do that. You know, like you act like I'm one cheeseburger away from being on my 600 pound life, girl. Like we're not doing this anymore. Mm -mm. All I could think about was like, girl, it is, it's too much modern day medicine out here and too too many things going on for you to be sitting around here still living in the fucking 1800s i even asked him, I was like well can we test like my hormones to see if it's my hormones he's like all those commercials to tell you it's hormones it's not like that's just a crock of shit you know what sir you're just gonna tell me i'm just i'm just fat and the only way to make me not fat is to to get on ozempic that's the only way there's no other way yeah no i'm done i'm done then it like rubbed me the wrong way because I'm like, why are you so quick to call in this prescription for Olympic without testing me to see if it's something else? Like, I don't know. The fact that you were just very quick to put me on Olympic without, you know, making sure it wasn't nothing. Else. Like, nah, that shit just don't seem right to me. I don't know. It just, it don't seem right to me. And I'm not fucking doing it. 
Like, I don't even think I'm at a point where I need fucking Ozempic. Like, Ozempic is for people who have diabetes. Why are you taking a medication away from them? Or people who are severely obese. Like, I am not severe. Like, am I considered to the national standards? Like, I'm not a toothpick. No. But I'm not severely obese. Like, wow. You act like, bitch, I can't even get out the bed by myself. You act like I can't walk up a flight of stairs. Like, girl, this is too much for me. I'm going to use some of the milk liner in the shade black, I think. Well, it is black. It ain't no, I think it is black. But I'm making sure that I apply it to like the top as well as the bottom. That's why I'm closing my eyes to get it up here at the top. And then you get it down there at the bottom too. Okay, I'm going to put on like a little bit of blush because girl, I am running out of energy. Um, But I did want to just kind of touch on that little Erica Mena thing. Listen. I see a lot of people making excuses for what she said, baby. And the people that I see making excuses are of a lighter skin tone that probably would not be compared to a monkey. Um, so you really don't understand it. However, I feel like you can hit below the belt without being racist. Like, calling somebody a monkey is like, you always felt that way about me. Like, it's just... It, it ain't no excuse. And then I keep seeing people like, oh, well, Spice shouldn't talk about her kid. Spice did not talk about her kid. Spice talked about her as a parent. And you could have easily, you know, made your little insult about how she should have passed away um, on the table. Da, da, da. You could have you easily made that insult and left it there. But for you to call her a monkey is absolutely insane. It is insane in 2023. And the amount of people that I see justifying it or, well, if you hit me low, I'm going to hell. Like, mm, 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 mm. Because I've seen some people, like, really say some cutthroat shit, and it, it wasn't racist. Like, you could cut a motherfucker without being racist. So, the excuses are beyond me, okay? They're beyond me. Because motherfucker talk about my kid, I'm going to go to hell as well. But you can go to hell without being fucking racist. So, again, I see a lot of the lighter tone women who probably would not be considered monkeys um, saying, well, she was in the right for saying that because Spice should have never talked about her kid. Uh, maybe, maybe you should just stay in your lane in this one, okay? She's dead ass wrong. Dead ass fucking wrong. <clears throat> you know what? I've decided against it. I'm not going to straighten my hair because, girl, I don't have this type of energy. Plus, we're going to a pool party today, all right? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to blend out under my eye, though, and I may use a little bit of my HD powder just to kind of, you know, make it pop a little bit. But, yeah, I see a lot of people in the comments like, well, you just don't know what you're going to say, and there's no rules to arguing. You're absolutely right. There is no rules to arguing. Um, and if you, if you weren't racist and you really didn't feel this way about people on a day to day, then that wouldn't have even come up. You could say some below the belt shit. You can go to hell without being damn racist. Like it just, no, no. These are thoughts that you've been having on a day to day. These are shit that you've been wanting to say to her. And this was the perfect opportunity for you to, to let it slide. It, it just is what it is. But for you to call a dark skinned woman, a monkey and people justify it i think that is just it's insane and you guys need fucking help in 2023 if you are still justifying that especially all the shit that y'all are so sensitive about in 2023 certain shit you can't fucking say and you want to sit up here and justify a black woman being called a monkey it's just it's fucking insane it's insane to me i feel like the same people this is a little bit of uh elf hd powder but I feel like the same people talking about, oh, I would have done the same thing and she's not wrong. I feel like y'all are the same people who uh, give certain groups a pass of non-color to say the nigga word. You know? Oh, yeah. You go ahead and say nigga because you're invited to the cookout. You're invited to the cookout. No. No. No, love. It, it's not acceptable at all and as long as y'all continue to tolerate the disrespect they will continue to disrespect us with no fucking problem because again there were so many other options that she had outside of saying or calling spice a day a monkey there were so many other things that she could have said outside of that right she knew that that was going to get a reaction and it wasn't like she said it once and was like oh my god the fuck am i saying no the bitch kept repeating it she kept fucking repeating monkey, and it was the emphasis on monkey, okay? It wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to call this bitch. What they be calling man be a horse, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it wasn't like 
no, no, it was some deep rooted racism in that shit. And I wish that people would stop making excuses. Like I told you, I was watching a TS show the other day because I genuinely like her, but I feel as though she has, which a lot of people do, which I'm noticing is that when people have relationships with folks, like business relationships or whatever with people, that they tend to not hold them accountable. And you can like somebody, you can still want the best for them and still hold them fucking accountable for the shit that they say. So there's that, okay? I can love you, I can like you, but I'm still going to hold you accountable for the shit that you said and we can still be friends at the end of the day, if that's how you feel. But I feel like there's a lot of tiptoeing and a lot of fucking excuses for her behavior. Like, absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. The girl was out of line. Absolutely out of line. And I do feel like she should be terminated, but I want y'all to pay attention to the terminology of the statement that Love and Hip Hop put out. I haven't watched the show in, in years, but the statement that they put out said that she would be she would no longer be returning to Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. It never said that she would not be returning to the Love and Hip Hop franchise. So this is something to pacify y'all, to make y'all feel like, oh, y'all had some type of impact and there was so much outrage and all this other stuff. Girl, she she ain't going nowhere because there ain't going to be no fucking repercussions. It's only repercussions when shit happens to other people. Right? We need to start holding people accountable and holding their feet to the fire and making sure that things are done. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Precision Pencil in the shade brown. I'm going to line my lips with this. But then the other thing that's been going on that's going to piss me off is that whole sexy red thing. Like, the girl talking about how she's going to be the destruction of black women and all this other stuff. Like, I I really want us going into 2024. I really want us to understand that what we consume is based on us. Like, if you don't want to consume shit like that, skip it. Skip it. Stop saying it's the destruction of black women as if there weren't people or rappers back in the day talking about throwing cat. And throwing ass. Now, was it probably a little bit more discreet? Possibly. But I remember Trina. I remember Kaya. Um, who else? There were so many people. What's the girl that made t-shirt in my panties? Like, there were so many people. Quit saying just because people are overtly sexual and it's in your face now and they're not disguising it in lyrics that it's the downfall of black women. Like, girl, you don't have to be that if you don't want to. But to constantly comment on shit is fucking ridiculous. Like, that shit pisses me off like grow up that's like when i be having people come over here fucking with me like girl you don't like me right you don't like what i stand for you don't like the fact that i curse but yet you watch every youtube channel i mean every youtube video like make the shit make sense like why are you watching this if you don't fucking like it then they talking about like, the impact that it's having on kids and it's like girl I was singing a whole bunch of shit. What was he doing? Uh, what's that song? Where it's like the bed creaking in the beginning of the song. Uh, what it is. Hope. Or what's up? Like, girl, we were singing so much fucking shit. Girl, please. Like, y'all act like y'all have never been kids. That's what kills me. Y'all act like y'all have never been children before. Or y'all ain't never been exposed to nothing. That's why y'all ain't got no fucking lives now. Like, these people are not responsible for raising your children. You're responsible for raising your own fucking kids. Like, grow the fuck up. I just, oh, that irritates the shit out of me. We have whole dissertations about why you don't like somebody and how it's affecting the black community. But nobody's talking about the men and how they're affecting the black community and how they're making the same type of music about that slanging a dick and busting pussy open. Like, nobody's discussing that. Y'all never hold, again, like I told y'all in the last video, y'all never hold black men accountable for shit for fucking shit nobody's nobody's talking about the fact that black men are having a whole podcast dedicated to downing single women or single black women or discussing black women and how they are the downfall to everything but black women then get on the same social media platforms and down us y'all sales like girl i'm talking about if something don't be feeding my spirit and it don't be sitting right with me i'm not about to sit up here and make a whole dissertation about it, girl. I just, I won't tune in no more. It's just, it's that simple for me. Like, I don't have to sit here and watch this. So the fact that y'all sit here and watch it or you sit here and listen to it, 
make it make sense. You could easily fucking skip or stop fucking Kadona. There's a block button for a reason. It just don't be making no sense to me. It just be pissing me off because y'all swear like somebody put y'all in a room and be forcing y'all like, listen to the sexy red lyrics right now. Belt it out. Say your booty all brown. Like, girl, ain't nobody forcing you to be here. Like, ugh. And be the main ones getting it busted open behind closed doors. But want to judge somebody in public. Like, y'all fucking kill me. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Be having seven whole fucking kids. But want to sit up here and act like you're a prune and you're not busting open. How the fuck did you get all seven of those kids? Like, knock it off. Knock it off. That's the problem. The problem is y'all be so insecure that your man is going to fall in love with a bitch like that because she's comfortable in her sexuality. And it makes you uncomfortable. It makes sure you need to get a little bit more comfortable in your sexuality. And then maybe he wouldn't be out here cheating with these type of bitches. That's what it really comes down to. That's why y'all don't like them type of bitches. Because that's, that's probably the same type of bitch that your nigga that cheated on you with. Yep. Yep, that's what it is. That's the same type of bitch that that nigga that cheated on you with. And ever since then, you can't stand bitches like that. It ain't even sexy. It's just bitches that's like her in general. Like, you cannot stand bitches like that because that's the same one that Richard went out here and fucked on. And told you it was nothing, right? And you just can't seem to understand how she doesn't exude this classiness that you think that you exude, right? And you just, you just so insecure with that. Like, how she can be bold and in your face and raunchy and ratchet and still get the nigga that's dating you. You don't understand how both of y'all can get the same type of niggas and both of y'all are on, on different sides of the spectrum. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. You know what else I think it is? And then I'm going to wrap this whole video up. Is I think that it'd be a little bit of jealousy and a little bit of envy as well. That nobody allowed you to be who you were. And so because of that, you hate her for being who she is. You know? Because like, what what does that have to do with me? I be yelling, ski! Like, and I'm getting ready to be 31 on the 7th, okay? And I be, I be right there with her. Right there fucking with her because it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Like, she is representation of black women as well. Like, y'all act like it ain't ghettos and hoods around here. Like, girl, you act like there ain't nobody in your family that act just like sexy. Like, you've never seen nobody that act just like sexy talking about black res representation. Why do we all have to be cookie cutter? Why do we all have to be this classy act that you've made up inside of your head? Like, girl, we all different. You know what I'm saying? And just because she expresses that differently doesn't make her less than. Anyway, I just, I think, especially black women, like, it just disgusts me when y'all do shit like that. Like, grow the fuck up. Grow up. Stop consuming this shit if you don't fucking want to. It's no reason for you to make a whole fucking video and a post about her. She don't give a fuck about you. This bitch get money. Let her do what she do. You know what I'm saying? Like... You go do what you do. Find something that make you happy, okay? If that's not for you, that's not for you. Don't entertain it. But to make a whole video disrespecting her, I just felt like that was just fucking weird. It was just, like, girl, you too old. Grow up. Like, what are we in fucking high school? Anyway, I'm done, okay? Because I'm tired. And this is all y'all getting today. Look, my hair is a hot-ass mess. But, Leah, this is it. This is all y'all getting today, girl. I, I don't have it in me, okay? The next video, I'm going to come with it. But... This one, I don't have any me. The fact that I even made it this far, like, I'm proud of myself, all right? Um, but, yeah, this is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. The discussion today was all over the place. Thank God I made it through the video, okay? Um, but, yeah, that's it. I don't know if I told y'all about the lips, but the lips were the LA Girl pencil, and then I went in with the new Lust from Maybelline, and then we topped it off with the e.l.f. Um, what is it? Pink Cosmo? What is that? Yes, pink cosmo. That's what we topped it off with. But yeah, that's it. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time.